Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update from the Kupian's front. So at the Kupian's front and in fact this also, you know, it will also touch on the Sviatove criminal front. So at the Kupian's front, the U Ukrainian forces attacked, you know, towards this direction and uh, at this location, this place is called uh, Kromane. Uh, this there's a very very tiny village uh, which is why the name did not come out at this uh resolution so the attack here and then and then it, it's kind of weird because they they seemingly haven't been reported to have captured tabaivka or you know maybe pichangni and this i was already wondering about this because of the reports of the attack you know at beristove previously so I suspect that the Ukrainians have already captured Tabaevka and Pishani, which is why we are seeing the attacks, you know, in this location and at this location, that the Ukrainians are actually already, you know, penetrating into the Luhansk uh, region. They are very, very close. So actually, if you look at the, the this dotted line, this is actually the border between Kharkiv and Luhansk. They are really, really close from the Kupians front region. They are already, you know, going to go into Luhan's territory itself and uh, this comes as a really weird news because we have a report of the Russians you know, go, doing a recon towards a Kurilivka uh, and this was reported in the last uh, summary and uh, how did they manage to do that you know, when the Ukrainians are actually attacking uh, uh, Kromalny so you no, know, it's a kind of a very uh, weird situation, and uh, this also comes as a progression. You see, where the Russians firstly, you know, they were attacking uh, around here, this region. Then after that, they they were attacking towards uh, Ivanivka, and then they were attacking towards a uh, Kaiselivka. They were attacking towards a uh, Yakine, towards Olyans uh, Olyanske. And, and this line just keep getting nearer and nearer and and it was not really reported you see they are moving you know, towards this direction getting nearer and nearer as well and I suspect that the Ukrainians actually have a lot more success uh, in the Kupians front than was suggested and uh, just to you know, add the arrows you know, there is an attack on the uh, Pershotravnevi uh, for some time already so I suspect the Russian lines at Orelian, uh, or this Orelianske, you know, or maybe even Ivanivka might not has been, might not really been held. So I, but you know, there's also, however, also no clear indication that they were lost to the Ukrainians as well. So, you no, know, maybe there is a possibility. You no, know, there is the front line this way, and the Yakine. I think this is gone. I think this is already captured by uh. The Ukrainian forces because there is fighting reported at Kaiselivka, Kaiselivka already. And uh, Tabaivka is gone. Pishani is gone. Because now the fighting is here. At uh, Krom uh, Kromalny. And uh, at Perestovi. So I think the front line is actually here. So the line is, you know, is this way. Uh, rather than you know uh what is drawn like this however you no know, i cannot just change the front line as i like uh, because i need to you know uh based on the evidence so you know i will you no know, dotted dot this in perhaps you know this is the front line that we are that is actually what we're having and in the latest information interestingly the uh, Russian Ministry of Defense actually reported that they successfully defended the f an attack on Stemakivka, which means that the Russians may have recaptured this location and they are actually holding a line, uh, maybe around in this area of uh, Stemakivka. So maybe like this. And the is probably not a Ukrainian offensive for, from the top. I suspect that uh, it's coming from from the bottom because this is where a lot of the Ukrainian forces are so I think that the attack is probably like this and uh, there was probably a retreat as well you no know, 
because uh the forces because we would previously reported this as captured by the Ukrainian forces. So it could be you know a counter offensive. Let me redraw this nicer. So maybe this is a counter offensive that we are currently witnessing in this uh, latest report from the Russian Ministry of Defense. And uh the Russians are holding the line at uh Rihorovka, uh further further south, uh over here. And uh and also at Novo Vodian, Novo Vodian, around here, there is this river that is going. Uh, this this uh, this the uh, what is it called? Jebizet, Jebizet, the the Baba Baba River. What is it called? Let me check. Um, what is it called? This river is called. Um, give me a while. Uh, Zerubets River. Sorry. Yeah. So the this Zerubets River is probably where the uh Russian are holding their lines. But you know this this river is not particularly big. It's actually very, very thin. And uh but the Russian Ministry of Defense reported that the Ukrainians attempted to cross the river towards uh Rihorovka as well as uh, towards uh Novo Vodian. So uh they the Russian Ministry of Defense reported that this crossing did not work out. But this might be actually just an initial, you know, uh, recon force. Uh, they are just trying to seek out, you know, where is the Russian lines, whether they can actually penetrate through, penetrate through, um, the Russian lines that is probably, you know, around here. So, they they are following the river that way. So they are probably just trying to test out whether they can actually go through. Uh. But in they were met by uh, Russian uh, defenders and uh, also heavy artillery. So this this attack did or attempted attack did not work out. But it might also be an indication that the this uh Sviatove Crimea offensive might actually is beginning. So uh, I have no idea whether this is captured or not. Uh, because it was never reported. So. So the situation now is like this. There is a massive, massive force uh, further south here. Uh, a rush, uh, the Ukrainians have gathered a massive, massive force uh, in this region, ready to do a massive offensive uh, this way. So massive offensive this way. So um, tentatively, you no, know, this these attacks might be the indication of uh, the beginning of this uh possible offensive and i would just want to draw a bit more maybe there's another force here yep so this is the current situation uh in the sviatove uh, crimea front uh so this is the kopians and uh, this is the sviatove uh crimea front uh sviatove is actually around here uh it's not in this map and uh this route actually leads to sviatove so you can see the you know, the movement of the entire Ukrainian force is actually moving uh, southeastwards, uh, towards uh Sviatove. They are trying to capture this road. They are trying to follow this road down. So they are going this direction. Uh, yeah, and you can see that in this force, you can also see you no, know, it's moving this direction, and is if you if you want to you know stretch it, it might be you know some kind of a pincer. This direction and this direction is like a pincer of sort. Uh, but you know, that's a bit of a stretch, uh, a bit too macro, too strategic. Uh, and a uh, Russian line seems to be really strong uh, lately. So anyway, this is the quick update. Uh, maybe it is a bit too, too much. But anyway, I thought you might be interested in this uh, update. Anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next update.